So as the wet seasons are here in full effect guys, I decided to go ahead and try some few other releases which will contain some Gore-Tex materials. So in today's video we're gonna have a look at a pair of shoes coming from Hoka. Hello guys and welcome back for a brand new review. If you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and also giving me a like it really help out the channel. You can also give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok to see exactly what I'm gonna review in the next few days. In today's video guys we're gonna have a look at a pair of uh, shoes coming from a new brand which to be honest I never uh, tried before. So let's go ahead and take them out of the box which as you can see it will come actually in a quite a big box but it's because the shoes are big as well. So the box will come in this uh, blue color which will have written Hoka in this white color here on top and we're also gonna have the same Hoka lettering on each side of the box. So let's go ahead and take them out guys. So in today's video guys we're gonna have a look at this uh, new and improved release coming from Hoka for this uh, Anacapa 2 mid Gore-Tex. So apparently this range guys just got improved this year, uh, we actually had a release around two years ago if I'm not mistaken for the same range, but that one had of course some different materials which got improved for this new release. So this one it's available at least here in the UK for the retail price of £170. And besides this uh, mid version, we're also gonna have uh, a high version and we're also gonna have a low version as well. And this one actually managed to get it on the Black Friday uh, sale, which was uh, around the 30% discount. Most definitely I feel that I actually got a pretty good deal. So this one will be my first encounter with this uh, range, which to be honest, I saw that they have a lot of um, running shoes on the market and also slides as well. So I decided to go ahead and start with this uh, boot uh, in this mid version which for sure I was expecting it uh, to be a bit uh, heavier. For my surprise this is not heavy at all and even the materials used for this upper are good as well which apparently will use a lot of uh, recycled materials. Of course we're also gonna have the very well known Gore-Tex uh, waterproof material and this one will also have a sugar cane uh, EVA midsole. So let's go ahead and also do a breakdown of this one guys. So as you can see for this upper we're gonna have uh, at least comparing with the previous version a new mesh material which in my opinion looks uh, so much nicer. So apparently this mesh material will be recycled and actually we're gonna have a few other elements which are recycled as well. So we're gonna have the vamp, the quarter mesh, the collar, the tongue lining mesh and also the laces. So on top of this uh, mesh as you can see covering the front part of the tobo section we're gonna have this uh, abrasion resistant uh, rubber toe cap which in my opinion uh, looks a lot with uh, the safety boots. As you can see in the midfoot we're also gonna have this uh, waterproof no back leather for the lacing system and also covering the whole heel section as well. As in for the actual lacing system you can see that we're gonna have these uh, metallic eyelets uh, here at the bottom but for the remaining lacing system we're gonna have this uh, hooks which usually you find them in the boots so these eyelets uh, will actually keep in place this uh, apparently recycled uh, laces which will come in this uh, brown color and this one will be round and as you can see underneath these laces uh, we're gonna have a very well padded uh, tongue which is actually quite uh, long as well and here at the top we're also gonna have this uh, no back material which will have a press down on it uh, Hoka and Anacapa 2 Going now uh, to the back of the shoe guys, as I said earlier, we're gonna have uh, these recycled uh, mesh materials, which covering the whole heel section, we're also gonna have this uh, no back material as well. 
which will have a press down on the lateral side the Hoka. We're also gonna have the Gore-Tex uh, tag as well. And on top of it, we're gonna have uh, covered slightly with this uh, abrasion rubber material again. So going now inside of the shoe guys, uh, for this one, we're gonna have a very well padded uh, collar section which will also have this extended section here uh, just at the back of the heel which will also keep in place this uh, brown pull tab and at the bottom as you can see we're gonna have this uh, foam midsole in this uh, black color which here at the heel section will have um, imprinted this Anna Kappa 2 and Hoka and we're also gonna have this sign which I will assume that is gonna be a recycled one so now guys uh, we can go to this uh, lightweight uh, sugar cane EVA midsole in this uh, cream color which uh, to be honest uh, seems to have uh, roughly the same uh, pattern as most of these releases coming from Hoka but in my opinion I really feel that this one it's actually quite uh, squishy and uh, it's gonna give a very good level of comfort. So now guys we can finish with this uh, Vibram Mega Grip uh, outsole which as you can see has a very nice uh, and interesting uh, pattern which will also have a lot of this uh, EVA midsole exposed in a lot of places. See here in the midfoot we're gonna have actually a lot of this EVA midsole exposed and even at the heel. As in for the actual sizing guys for this one I just went with my true to size and for me as I have a skinny feet uh, I actually feel that this uh, front part of the shoe is actually a bit too high and I feel that I have uh, slightly a bit uh, too much room uh, here at the front of the shoe but uh, as an easy fix uh, I actually just uh, put an extra insole inside uh, not too thick to be honest and it's uh, fixing my problem straight away but I would say that for people with normal feet guys you can just uh, stick with your true to size but just in case you have wide feet most definitely I would suggest you to go with at least a half size up just to make sure that this uh, front part of the shoe and even the heel section is not gonna be too snug for you. So overall guys this uh, latest release coming from Hoka for this uh, Anna Kappa 2 in this uh, mid uh, version and Gore-Tex as well in my opinion it's looking much better than the previous one of course uh, there are not uh, too many things uh, changed but most definitely i feel that this one uh, feels actually quite uh, good on foot we shouldn't forget that we're gonna have this uh, gore-tex membrane so for sure i would say that uh, if you manage to get this one on sale for sure this is gonna be a good deal even if you don't manage to get it on sale i feel that this one it's uh, still a good drop so yeah guys, this was my unboxing and reviewing of one of these latest releases coming from Hoka for this uh, Anna Kappa 2, which for today we had it in this uh, Gore-Tex uh, mid version. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, uh, don't forget to press the like button, maybe also subscribe to the channel. You can also give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok to see exactly what I'm going to review in the next few days. Of course, if you want to have a look at any of my other reviews, which will contain some Gore-Tex materials, you can choose from any which you have now on the screen. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.